Hi guys, Stillball Jack here, and uh, this is just a minor update to my previous video uh, where I was talking about Ara Araki Hirohiko or a new JoJo kind of supposed project that popped up in uh, in Jump. Um, if, you, if you haven't seen it, then I'll put the video in my description so you can check that out. But anyway, we're going to look at it. So it's actually, uh, they've actually came out and shown a picture and they've opened the website and the website was actually uh, found out by a few people. Uh, some within the JoJo community, just some that generally wanted to find out. And where it said p something 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 .com, it's actually plus p-l-u-s dot .com. You can go to the URL and you'll see the picture that I've put up here. Um... I was writing one thing as well. Um, I was like, okay, the first speech bubble is shown in Jump with a comma. The second one, I was like, yeah, it's going to come out next week's Jump, I think. And then the next one's going to be the next, the week after's Jump. Guess what? I was right. I mean, it was kind of obvious, but I just, I just think it's awesome. But anyway, we, as you can see, it's going to come out on the 8th of September, which was a week from when Jump came out yesterday. And also, week three is a week after it comes out next week. So it's pretty cool. Now, there's one thing I want to show you. Look at the top left of this, where it says week one, Hirohiko Araki. So that basically means, in my opinion, and probably most people's opinions, is that, that, is that it's going to be a compilation like week one is Hirohiki Araki, week two is going to be a different manga car, and week three is going to be a different manga car. Uh, does that mean it's going to be three separate stories? Does it mean it's going to be like um, like one big story but seen from different perspectives? We don't know anything yet, but that's just me thinking. Um, if you also if you go to the top right where it says full size image and click on that, you get a more wider image. Uh, where you have five characters including the girl from the jump page and then you've got like the moon and some stuff in the background kind of ton of butterish and um, Yeah, this is pretty cool now. Let me tell you something in Japan uh, in September. There's a thing called uh, Tsukimi and Tsukimi means um, basically like moon viewing like looking at the moon and it's when the moon is its fullest in Japan and um, considering that this project popped up on the first um, I think this is going to be about that. If you look up Skimmy, um, T-S-U-K-I-M-I, -I, um, on Google, and then read about that, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, we have these five characters, an old lady character, we've got, like, a, a weird-looking boy character, then we've got, like, the, probably the mother character in the back, the father on the right, who looks like an elderly, uh, Josuke from Part 4, uh, Diamond is not Unbreakable, um, and then you got the girl in the mid that kind of looks like Daya with like Hato's hair. Or, or Daya with Hato's hair, that's black, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, I think it's to do with Skimmy, alright? So that's what this is going to be about. But we've still got two more updates to come uh, come to. And, well, I'm really looking forward to seeing what exactly is um, going on here. That would be awesome to, uh, to see next week's and the week afters as well. So stay tuned, because it's going to be awesome. Um, thank you for watching this little minor update. I'm sorry I went on for a while, but yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty much excited. You guys are excited. I know you will be, and I'll see you um, next time. I've got some more videos coming, so I'll wait for those. Goodbye. Seventy-two, seventy-two. Nerata shoutiki wa kanarazu shitomeru.